Hello, I'm Mo Tuzano, the tabletop bellhop, your cardboard concierge. I'm here answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Let me put my years of game playing, event organizing, and game night hosting to use for you. Tonight, we are answering the very important question of what's in the box. I'd like to welcome you to our cardboard coat check the uh, board game baggage check where we do unboxing videos of a variety of games. Right now, I'm going to be unboxing the game Horizons from Daily Magic Games. Uh, this was something that they were kind enough to provide a review copy of, so that is something you'll be able to find in the coming weeks. You can find reviews and other cool gaming content at tabletopbellhop.com, or you can hear us talk about the game on our podcast, the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which goes live every Tuesday morning at 2 a.m. and you can find on your favorite podcatcher. But enough about the self-promotion, let's get to unboxing Horizons from Daily Magic Games. Now just a really quick short intro, I love Daily Magic Games. I'm a bit of a fanboy. I first found their stuff, I think it was 2014, might have been 2015. First time I ever went to Origins, demo game, played with them, they gave me a box of nerds, they already win me over with that. And played one of the best games I've ever played, which is Valeria Card Kingdom. Still one of my favorite tableau builders. I love that game. Awesome resource management game. I've tried everything they put out since and enjoyed everything. I have yet to see Horizons. So when I was there at Origins, I fanboyed over them. They appreciated it, I guess, because they were willing to give me a copy of this to check out. So the first part of that is going to be opening this up. So as you can tell, this is in shrink. It's still nice and shiny. You're going to get to hear my thoughts live as I open this. So you'll get to hear everything as I see it for the first time, the same as you. Only tool I've got today is an X-Acto, which I'm going to use to start opening this package up. I will say it's a significantly large box for a card game. Like this is, I think, bigger than the Valeria box. All right, step one, done. We got the shrink wrap off. Next. Oh, doesn't want it starting, starting. Here it comes. We got some ads on the side of the box. All right, bang, box top. Off to the side for now. Rule book, rule book just as big as a box. That's a huge one. Ah, not very thick. We are looking at, this is a, there's a summary on the back. Only 11 pages, not bad. We have full color, but man, there is some, a lot of text on these pages. A lot of text. Not that small though, which is nice. I appreciate the large size as I'm getting older. I say immediately I see the word explore and build. I am thinking this is gonna be somewhat Race for the Galaxy-like. So it looks like card driven, but we are going to build a hex-based universe. Very cool. I'm glad that I'm not just seeing yet yet another card game. There's more to it. Uh, talk about a wall of text there. Looks like plenty of examples. Not a ton of art. Like, there, there's pages of just text. I would have liked to see more art, but you know what? As long as it teaches the rules well, I'm good. One of my favorite things to see, a nice quick play guide, a summary sheet on the back. Then we find out why the box is this big. That is a significantly sized player board. Nice, full color, very clear, two-sided. Looks like we got some eclipse going on here where you have humans on one side and an alien race on the other. That's my guess. Have not read the rules for this game. Again, we have like a humanoid race and then some really messy aliens. Yeah, so that's definitely it. And again, we have a humanoid race and some nasty aliens. And we have two more. We got planets at the top, all kinds of things on here. And then, ooh, nice box insert. Assuming the components all go in the right spots, I do dig a nice vacuum formed box insert designed to hold everything. I'm impressed by that already. We have components. We have little gray, not cubes. Um, I don't know, what you, tiles, I guess. Tile shaped. I'm gonna toss those into one of those. We have triangular, something about that shape says sci-fi to me. Purple, 
So looking at the box, I expected actually a duplicate of the components from Valerian. These are definitely not. These are different shapes, same colors, uh, than what I would assume is some kind of gold or something, but another resource. For something that I called a card game, I gotta say, this isn't looking much like a card game. <laughs> What's really weird? Aha! They are being sneaky. So I'm like, I don't see any of the hexagons. We'll get to that in a second. So we do have cards. This may be card driven, but at this point, I definitely would not call this a card game. So that is my mixed expectations. My own fault, probably. I didn't do the research. I would call this more of a card driven game based on the number of other components. Uh, I gotta say, one of the things Daily Magic does is hire fantastic artists I, I first card there i really dig the look of uh, i don't know like green space wookie ish looking creature here oh they're all green here so all these cards are green i don't know i'm just gonna grab some random ones not knowing the rules i couldn't really tell you what it means but i do dig the look engineer technological hive uh, we also have some cards that, so these are all green cards. They look like they're some kind of people. They're all like bounty hunters, stuff like that. Now we have another set of cards. They're going to go that way. Look like world cards. Card quality solid. Uh, no linen finish. They're shiny. Not overly thick, but not thin either. Standard card quality, I guess I would say. Seems fine with me. There is another deck in here. We're going to crack that open. There is the, the cigarette pack style thing on these. I just prefer to use an exacto. Get it done and over with. So we have some rule summary cards. Big bonus. Love seeing those in games. Every game should have that. Just a list of icons, which actually that's something I'm used to seeing from Daily Magic games. Uh, we have, I don't know, red cards. Again, dig the art. These are actually all identical. Uh, then a whole bunch more of these like planetary system looking cards. Okay, moving on. Um, gonna guess player colors, probably set up for accessibility purposes, but maybe not. Uh, we have a bunch of like hexagonal, and that looks really blue on the camera, but it's actually a deep purple. I'm not quite sure. Maybe if I put it next to a white, it'll come out better. No, eh, a little bit. And then there's pink ones in here. I'm not going to open them all up. To go with that, we have Thicker. That's a unique shape. I've never seen in a board game component, but I don't know, almost mailbox shapes. A whole bunch of those. And then we have Not Quite Cubes. Oh, I like these. I don't know why. Again, these kind of seem sci-fi to me. Like little oh, star cubes. Indented cubes. And we have a bag. So there's definitely going to be some pull-out random things aspect of the game. So at this point, I'm like, where are the things, right? Where Where's the rest? Well, this is nice. Look at this. Hey, smart packaging. I dig it. We have our punch-outs at the bottom. Again, definitely more of a board game, card-driven board game. Really nice looking art. Very clear to see. Uh, looks like those little the hexagon-shaped things are going to fit on here. I don't know what these little round bits are really impressed with the quality as usual daily magic i've liked everything they've done art styles fantastic really nice box insert bonus points there looks like a place for everything card quality solid card arts amazing fantastic art it's nice to see them do something non-fantasy really nice thick two-sided player boards everything i see here i like there there's nothing to complain about here let's hope the gameplay holds up just as well as the component quality for that i will be reviewing this game watch for that to come out at tabletopbellhop.com and watch for it to show up on our podcast the tabletop bellhop gaming podcast so that was horizons from daily magic games one of my favorite people so i will admit i am slightly biased but only because they make great games and i have liked everything i have played by them so far um this looks just as good as anything else um for some reason it's really cheap available online right now i'm not sure why maybe it's not selling well but i gotta say it looks good definitely looks like a solid game i'm really looking forward to checking out horizons from daily magic games
So again, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. I am normally here to answer your gaming and game night questions, like the one we just answered, what's in that box? Uh, you can check us out at tabletopbellhop.com. Uh, before you leave, though, make sure you hit that subscribe or follow button, depending on what platform you're watching us on. Uh, it is appreciated, and it helps us get through the algorithms and get our channel out there. If you do enjoy what you saw tonight and have checked out our other content and like that as well, it'd be awesome if you would consider going to patreon.com forward slash tabletop bellhop and tipping the bellhop. For Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.